Hey guys, this is Mr. A Quizzy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In today's movie review, this is going to be on, on, on another 2021 film, and, it, and it's also a movie I went and saw on Friday with Social Group. And I went and saw this movie at an AMC movie theater, like during a private showing for, for, as a, for, for a graduation party with, with my friend Megan. Megan's actually one of my social media, my, one of my social group friends in person, by the way. So she recently graduated high school, and so all together, me, Megan, and all my social group friends, we all went and saw this movie at an AMC private movie theater. And so, that, that's going to be on the 2021 sequel to the 2018 film Peter Rabbit. Yep, and that is called Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway. So, Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway is, is, is the sequel to the 2018 Peter Rabbit film directed by Will Gluck. And Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway is also directed by Will Gluck. And, and it's also made by Sony as well. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So Peter Rabbit to the Runaway is is about Peter and of course and, and Peter and, and, and as as he he's becoming famous when 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 Thomas McGregor gets married to B of course so like you know the the two, the two human characters from the first one the, the the two get married and so and so B of course like she she she's pretty much pub publishing this publishing publishing this publishing this book of course you know publishing there you go sorry about that. But yeah, so she's working on this book, and 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 Peter Rabbit, and Peter Rabbit has also become very, very popular and very famous too. But then he comes across this other bunny rabbit named Bar Barbutus, whatever, like whatever. But and then so he he basically tells Peter that that he knows his father, and so they decide to go and steal food, and then yeah, and then, and then the story unfolds and this and that and. And of course, the movie just basically teaches like the true meaning of who you are, and 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 and, and to learn that we all make mistakes and, and we learn from them. So, so that's pretty much the basic plot of, of Peter Rabbit to the Runaway. And sorry if I mispronounce a few words and names, so I apologize for that. But yeah, so Peter Rabbit to the Runaway. When when I was going into this movie at AMC, I, I was I was kind of I was kind of I had a little bit of a little bit of expectations from this movie, and. And so when I watched the whole movie, it actually turned out to be pretty good. I mean, I know there are some people out there who 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 may who who didn't really like the first Peter Rabbit film from 2018. I know some of my friends liked it, and and some of my friends didn't like it. But you know, it's just our opinion. And how does the sequel play out? The sequel actually played out pretty good. I I, I thought it was a good sequel. It and definitely it's not really going to be in my top ten for sure. It's not it's not really one of my favorite movies of 2021. But it's still pretty cool seeing this movie. Like after it was put, after it was pushed back from its, <clears throat> after it was pushed back from its 2020 release. Like if this movie was supposed to come out like during the early months of 2020, prior to COVID, like you know, prior to when COVID, prior to when COVID was hit. Like Peter Rabbit 2: The Runaway was supposed to to come out like February of 2020, but then was pushed to April of 2020. But then, and then, and then of course we all get these like so many pushbacks from its original release date. But it's finally out. It came out on June eleventh, the same day as In the Heights, and and it, it's still, it's still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool that, that that it's still pretty cool that 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 I went and saw this movie. My social group friends also liked it too, especially the leader Meredith. Meredith Meredith is actually very nice. She's actually the leader of the social group as well, and we all had a great time, of course. And and the. And, and the theatrical experience is, is that since this was a private showing, since there were no previews before the movie started, they actually kept the lights on. But I can still hear the volume. The volume was actually turned up. Turned, it was actually turned up well, so I can still hear the volume, which is a good thing. And, and at least I got the movie, so that's all that matters. It, like the previews don't don't really matter much since since some people on YouTube don't really mention what previews they got before the movie started. But. <clears throat> And the comedy humor in, in Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway, it, it's pretty decent for the most part. It, it's still pretty decent as the first one. And what and is Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway like good as the original? No. I, I say the first Peter Rabbit from 2018 I think is better. Yeah, that, that that's what I think. And the acting itself, the acting is not too bad. And 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 like Donald Gleason, Donald Gleason still did a pretty good job as Thomas McGregor. I actually kind of laughed at one part where where Thomas McGregor was rolling down the hill and then but then he ends up tumbling. Yeah, that that part actually got me. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. And and of course there was also a part like like one of Peter Rabbit's sisters like you know we got Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. 
like, like, there was also a part with, there was also a part with when Flopsy and Mopsy were drinking through this, like, salt water, I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think it's, like, salt water. And then, and then, and then when, when Mopsy said it was amazing and then lets out a, a, a belch, like a burp, I, I, I actually do recognize that burp sound effect, because you, some of you guys know how much I, I, I know, I know a lot about sound effects, because, because the, the, because that belch, that burp sound was actually, was actually used in, in two other movies that came out, like, between 2002 and 2003. Because that, 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 that belch sound was also used for Scooby-Doo in the 2002 Scooby-Doo movie. And it was used for Blow to, in the Finding Nemo movie. You know, the Pixar movie Finding Nemo. Because it's the same sound effect. Because I'm, I'm like one of those guys on YouTube that knows a lot about sound effects. Because I'm really good at knowing sound effects. So, yeah. It was, it was, also, it was also in one of, the, one of the newer TV spots for Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway. It was in one of the TV spots. It was, it's also on an official clip on YouTube as well. But I'm kind of surprised that the, that that clip actually got a whole lot of dislikes, which maybe I can understand why it got the most dislikes. But it, it doesn't matter which you video gets the most likes or dislikes; it doesn't really matter. But and Will Gluck, Will, Will Gluck is I think I think is a pretty decent director, like who directed the first Peter Rabbit and and the sequel. And and the voice acting itself, James Corden, James Corden wasn't too bad as Peter Rabbit. And there's also um, Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie's still really great as as Flopsy, and Elizabeth Debnicki, like whatever you pronounce her last name, she she still did a good job as Mopsy. And there was also this one actress who played Cottontail. The new voice actress for Cottontail, this one, she she wasn't too bad because it's not Daisy Ridley from the first one because because the point is, guys, the filming for Peter Rabbit Two: The Runaway took place in 2019, while Star Wars: The The, the Rise of Skywalker came out at the end of 2019. And that explains why Daisy Ridley was, was was way too busy playing Rey Skywalker in, in Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker, because filming of Peter Rabbit 2: The Runaway took place in 2019, while and while Star Wars: the, the The Rise of Skywalker came out the same year in 2019. So that does make sense on why why Daisy Ridley did not reprise her role as Cottontail. But yeah, so so overall. Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway is a, is a pretty good sequel from 2021. And I'm going to give Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway, I'm going to give it um, 4 out of 5 stars. Yeah, 8 out of 10, as far as I can remember. Yeah, 4 stars out of 5, yeah. Oh yeah, and pl plus I think I just remembered, I, I think I remember, like, I, I think I remember when I saw the other movie I recently saw, Fast and Furious 9, I just remembered that, that I actually gave Fast and Furious 9 a 5 out of 5, like a 10 out of 10, so... Now I remember. So I, I rate Fast and Furious 9 a 10 out of 10. Yep, 5 out of 5. And and while I rate Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway 4 out of 5 stars. And that would be an 8 out of 10. There you go. But yeah, so if, if you if you enjoyed the first Peter Rabbit film from 2018, if, if you enjoyed the first movie, then I'm sure you'll like this movie. And, and, and But if you're not interested in checking out Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway, then it's fine with me. My, you might as well just have. You might as well can wait until it comes out on VOD, whatever. So, there you have it, guys. That's gonna be it for my movie review on Peter Rabbit 2: The Runaway. And so that's gonna be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A Crazy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.